boy Coach C, we back in the building, back from vacation, still injured, but I'm a little better than I was before, so I'm thinking I'm probably about 68, 69%, but it's going to have to do because we got ball reviews to get done. So what are we here today to do? The XL by Roto Grip. That's what we're here today for. The XL by Roto Grip, strong, big engine ball. Um, the numbers will be up here as always. The RG 2.55, the dip 0.048, and the mass bias 0.016. Yes, it is a sim. That's why it has a mass bias. We drilled it um, for a really strong ball. We drilled it really strong also. 65 by 3.5 by 30. We tried to give it a little bit of length, but we still made it super duper strong. Hey, that's how Steve liked to roll. So, just to let you guys know, we have the ball giveaway, so if you have not seen the video, I'm not even going to tell you which one it is that has the ball giveaway in it. All you got to do is raise your hand in the comment to be entered into the stakes where Tyshawn is going to be drawing the winner. Make sure you do that. And then also, I'm going to be announcing another giveaway that I'm actually going to be doing here shortly. Actually, yeah, within the next week. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the ball. Okay, I told you guys what the layout is. Here's the pin. Mass bias, CG. Okay, so, with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's throw some shots. Hey, I'm back. And let's find out how rusty I really am, right? Alright, so we had to put our slug in. So let's go ahead and throw our first shot of the day. We're going to start at 35, so we're going to start left, work our way right. Um, now remember guys, I'm a little bit rusty, so bear with me. But that still looked good to me. Yeah. That looked pretty good for an old rusty guy, right? But, um, again, I put the 65 on it to give it a little bit of length. Just a little bit. Um, but I, I did want to be aggressive. So... Maybe this is something I might be able to take in my bag to Nationals. But I got the Pure Madness in there, so we'll have to see. All right, let's get the second shot with it on the road. Remember, I'm trying to, to cut down the length of time of my videos. So let's get right into the meat and potatoes of it. Beautiful. Okay, a little rusty. Felt like I'm missing just a little bit, but uh, I figure as the reps come, the more consistent I'll become again. All right, so let's get this third shot. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, comments go a long way, guys. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you like and don't like about the ball. All right, let's get another one. I mean, ball's really strong. It's clear in the head. It's pretty good. Um, you can see it starting up early in the mid lane. It's able to turn the corner. And again, this is on a fresh shot. So this is a brand new shot just put down for me today um, as I got here. So you're watching the ball perform, cutting through the middle of the lane, getting outside to the friction or getting into the friction area about 40 feet down lane and actually still have enough juice to turn the corner and carry the 10. All right, so let's get another one in. Uh, one or two more. Then we'll go ahead and move right. And, yeah, XL might be something that you might think about taking in Nationals if you're going. And if you bowled last year, well, still the same. For me... Any ball uh, 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 has an opportunity to get in the bag. Now, here's the catch. A lot of people give him Lewis Flag because he didn't bowl very well at Nationals. And then he made a, a second video about what you should take to Nationals. Well, the man went. The man bowled. He seen what was out in the lanes. Now, you can take it with a grain of salt, or you can listen to him and say, hey, if he thinks these balls will work, maybe they might. Am I going to take balls based on his suggestion? No, because we have two different types of games. I know what I'm looking for. I know the reaction that I'm looking for. But 
I'm also not sponsored by Storm. So my selection of balls is exponential. I, I can throw whatever I want to throw, and nobody can limit me. He's kind of limited, so he's just saying that, look, if you're going to throw SPI stuff, this is what you should take, and respect the man for it. All right, so number five, or six, or how many shots we taking. Let's do the last one from 35. Then we're going to go right, try to get you guys out of here. I just want you guys to see the shape, see how it's reading. And remember, this is the fresh shot that it's on. Yeah, fresh shot. They be fast, they be slow. Um, I really like the ball. I mean, you see how it's responding on a fresh pattern. So, how shot or not, still looks pretty good to me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move over five into another zone. We're going to move to 30. Throw some shots, see what we look like. All right, let's go. So 30 it is. Got to make sure we got the hips open enough. Oh, ho, ho, our first 10-pin of the day. Well, sometimes they happen. All right. So, back to 30. Uh, first 10 of the day, too. That's kind of heart hurting, but it is what it is. That wasn't no 10-pin. That was no 10-pin. So, excellent ball. Get through the fronts clean, like I said. Um, starts up in the mid lane. Um, reads to the friction very well. It's not over reading. Um, it's not showing any signs of over under. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's get another one. Again, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, definitely liking what I'm seeing so far. Roto Grip might have a winner here, guys. Now, the question is, how does it compare to other ASIMs like um, the Extreme Envy or the Widow 3.0? Let's get another one from 30. So we 10 pinned it. Then we got a really quality good shot. Let's see if we can't repeat the quality one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, again, I, I need to figure out where it's going to fit. So, we have things like the Envy, Extre the Extreme Envy, the Pure Madness, Big Engine ASIMs, the Magic Gym, which is a hybrid Big Engine ASIM. Um, we have the Max Bias, again, Big Engine ASIM hybrid. Got to see where it fits in the line. All right, so here we go again with the uh, XL. Oh, another 10 pin, another 10 pin. I think that read a little, uh, just a hair later than what I wanted it to. Um, didn't like the way it got to the pins either. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and get two more from 30, and then we'll move right. Now, remember to watch how the ball is getting through the pins, right? That's an important thing, how they're getting through the pin. See? Deflected. So I needed to read a little sooner. All right, so last shot in 25. I mean, from 30, let's see if we can get one last good quality shot from here and get to 25. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Spray the lane a little bit. I know, you don't have to tell me. But it's good, though, because if you're a league bowler and you spray a little bit, this will give you an idea of what will work and what won't. Um, remember, I'm a little in Poquito. And haven't thrown a ball in a while. So 
Let's get it all ironed out together. Make this move is 25. Took on five right. Um, now this ball looks really strong, so I'm gonna have to get it outside a little bit. I'm gonna have to feed it outside. There it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. a seven pin. You know, sometimes you just gotta take it how it is. Seven pin. All right, back to twenty five. Hey, another seven pin. So I tried to speed that up and push it outside because it's so strong, but I'm just going to relax through it, get through my normal stroke, and see how that looks. All right, so back to 25. Hate to say it, but this ball looked better at 35. But maybe it's just me, so let me relax through it again, like I said. Close my hips down just a hair. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Another seven pin. And yeah, my balance, I got to do a little better in my position. But uh, this is me coming fresh off the cruise ship, which I'm going to show everybody all of my adventures. Why not? Adventures of Captain C instead of Captain Ron. It's Captain C, right? So, all right, let's get two more shots. See if we can't go ahead and leave two more seven pins. Why not? Seems to be the trend. Let's go. Uh, that wasn't so bad. You ain't so bad. You ain't so tough. All right, so let's go get one more from 25. We'll throw a couple shots from 20. I just want to see what it looks like. And then we'll call it. So last one from 25. Oh, uh, this ball reminds me of something. It really does. Oh, this ball reminds me of something. All right, let's go. Yeah, this ball reminds me of the gym. The very the original gym. The solid ASIM gyms. It does. It reminds me a lot of that. Don't know why. Hmm. All right, so we're going to throw two shots from 20 or three shots from 20. I just want to see how it reads and reacts from 20 um, on a fresh house shot. So I just want to see. Maybe I'll see what I need to in one, but we'll find out in two seconds. That would have been a foul, people. I slid past the line. So we'll take another shot. That was also Brooklyn. Brooklyn! I think with the layout I put on this ball, I think it's too strong for me to play at 20. I mean, I could take some hand out of it, but where's the fun in that? All right, so let's try this with 20 again. Let's give it a good old hoot, old try. Ah, just like I thought, too strong from 20, but hey, what can you do, right? So, this is too strong from 20. Let's do a little trick shot, and then let's call it. Somebody once asked me, can I pick up spares on the right between my legs? The answer to that is yes. Okay, so the XL by Roto Grip, super duper strong. Um, 2.55 RG, 0.048 dip. Of course, um, I probably put a little bit of length onto it by with that 65. But hey, guess what? Still a really really good ball. Um, I like it more for being right. That's why I made it so aggressive. Um, especially when I'm trying to turn the corner, per se on a house shot, on a sports shot. That's when I'm going to use it on the house shot. You see, I, it was better between 30 and 35, which makes sense, even though it was fresh. So, you know what they say, right? First person, the first, the fastest person to the left, the first person to the left wins. Well, there you go. I'm the first person to the left. 
Okay, so beautiful ball. Um, color scheme isn't bad. Um, I like it. And again, this reminds me of the gym. Yes, I used to throw the gym back in the day, which was like two and a half years ago. I did throw it, and that reminds me a ton of it. A ton, a ton, a ton of the gym. I'm glad to be back, guys. Do I recommend the ball? Uh, yeah. Why not? It's a big as you sim. As you can see, really strong. Um, I think that having something in your bag like that and then something like the Mass Bias 10 down, which is smoother, smoother, less arc, oh, yeah, would be a dynamic one-two punch. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, make sure you like and subscribe in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking, if this is something that can work for you in your bag or if this is something that you would take to Nationals or something you'd like to see me take to Nationals. Right? Make sure that you guys are paying attention to the giveaways because I'm giving them giving balls away. I'm giving stuff away, and I want you guys to receive it. Okay? I'm Coach C. This is Bad Bad Bowling. The XL by Roto Grip. Have a good day.